What is up guys, Jav here, back today jumping into Destiny 2. Now in today's video, we're taking a look at the best auto rifles currently available inside Destiny 2. This is after the recent hard light nerf. So if you still want to run auto rifles and want to know what the best ones are, this is the video for you. Now, if you enjoyed the video, be sure to leave a rating down below. That super helps me out here on the channel. And if you are new around here, I want to keep up to date with all the latest Destiny 2 content, then be sure to hit subscribe as well. But without further delay, guys, let's jump into the video. With the launch of Season of the Worthy and Update 2.8.0, we saw a massive change and uplift in the use of auto rifles across the entire game, across PvE and PvP. But today we had a new update, 2.8.1.1, and this introduced a nerf to Hardlight, which is the most popular and overused auto rifle currently in the game. It was dominating the Crucible and it was dominating Trials of Osiris. With that being said, and that now now being firmly hit back down into the wood, we can actually start exploring some of the other top tier auto rifles that fall within the same archetype. We've covered a lot of them in this channel, but in this video today, we're going to cover them all and break them all down one by one. Now we're going to kick this off with the Ether Doctor. This is a legendary kinetic auto rifle. So it sits in the primary slot. This is an adaptive frame, so it's well-rounded, reliable, and sturdy. Now, most of these in this video will be 600 rounds per minute. Although the hard light has seen a nerf, the 600 RPM archetype is still by far the strongest and has the optimal time to kill of 0.7 seconds. Now the Ether Doctor has 41 rounds in the magazine. It has a decent aim assist stat of 61. Now there are two key stats that are critical for any auto rifle and these will ensure the balance between lethality and consistency when it comes to utilizing them and these are range and stability if you can get a balance between the two then you will have a consistent and lethal weapon across all types of activities when you choose to run one now the great thing about the ether doctor is you have a choice between sights and scopes which gives you great variety when looking at range options but also the middle column on the perks here give you great stability perks intrinsically on the weapon things like zen moment tap the trigger and dynamic X-ray reduction. Now, if you can get a good combination of those plus ricochet rounds and maybe even a ranged masterwork, then you've pretty much got a top tier weapon in your hands, which will be lethal inside the Crucible. And that brings us nicely onto the next one in our list. This is the Gnawing Hunger. Again, this is a legendary auto rifle and this is an energy, so it sits in your energy slot. This is also 600 rounds per minute and has a default of 43 in the magazine. Now the range stat on this auto rifle is 53, so higher than the Aoife Doctor, and the aim assist is 65, again higher than the previous one that we looked at. Now you can farm this from the Reckoning activity when the likeness of Oryx is in rotation. It's an exclusive drop from that encounter on the tier 3 version. Now unlike the Aoife Doctor, this has barrel options and not sights or scopes, which means you are stuck with a short range sight regardless of the barrel options that you choose. That being said though, the sight itself is very good when you ADS and still gives you great visibility across the battlefield. Now ricochet rounds is also not an option on this particular auto rifle although accurized rounds is available which will provide a plus 10 stat to your range. Now much like the Ether Doctor you have the choice between tap the trigger and Zen moment again will provide intrinsic boosts to your stability on your initial trigger pulls or when you cause damage. However for me it's the last column which brings this weapon to life. You have some great options here with damage dealing perks. You have the choice between Rampage and multi kill clip and kill clip itself which is fantastic inside the crucible and this has a great reload speed of 61 so you can have a decent amount of uptime with kill clip available if you can get one to roll moving on now to the arc logic again this is an energy auto rifle again legendary and adaptive frame as well you can farm this from the clip to glyph over on the moon so be sure to go pay eris a visit if you're still working on that now statistically this has a lower range and stability than the previous two that we've seen however with the right perks and the right barrel options you can still get a formidable roll now much like the gnawing hunger this still has barrel options available so you are stuck with a short range sight and as well as that you are also lacking ricochet rounds but again you still have accurized rounds if you're seeking that plus 10 to the range stat now the perks are organized uniquely on this weapon. Now in the second column you can have something like Outlaw for faster reloads which pairs really nicely with some of the extra damage dealing perks in the final column. But the go-to one probably for Crucible is Moving Target which isn't available on the previous two that we looked at. This increases your movement speed and improves your target acquisition whilst moving when you're aiming down sights which is very beneficial on an auto rifle. Now speaking of the final column you have a choice of rampage where you can increase your damage temporarily by stacking that up to three times but it also still has the choice of tap the trigger to intrinsically boost the stability and accuracy on your initial trigger pull 
or rangefinder, which increases its effective range and improves its zoom magnification, which can be quite beneficial with a short range sight that this one has. So although this weapon has lower stats in the key areas that we previously discussed, if you can get the right perk combination, you can easily boost those in key areas to make this a solid weapon still inside the Crucible. Now this brings us nicely onto one of my personal favourites, this is the Galliard 42 XN7568. This is a legendary energy auto rifle, again adaptive frame but also 600 rounds per minute. This also has 44 rounds in the magazine so larger than any of the ones that we spoke about previously. Now the stability stat on this is 50 by default which is higher than the previous guns that we've looked at and range comes in at 41. Now when looking at some of the hidden stats that are available in this weapon, aim assist is at 60 so one of the highest in the archetype but it's the recoil direction that this weapon has which is higher than any that we're going to cover in this video and that comes in at 70 and we spoke about consistency and lethality at the very beginning of the video and by having a recoil stat so high of 70 and pairing that with a very strong stability stat you have a very consistent weapon in your hands and with a right perk combinations that can be very lethal indeed now one of the strongest things about the galliard is its great variety of scopes that are available these offer great alternatives in choice, but also boost your zoom magnification and your range. And when you pair that with ricochet rounds, which is available on this weapon, that will provide an additional plus five to your range and plus 10 to your stability. So with the right scope and ricochet rounds, you're pretty much at the range cap for this weapon, which means things like range finder, aren't as essential as they otherwise would be. However, if you don't have ricochet rounds or you don't have great scopes, then you're gonna be looking for either a range masterwork or range finder to help you out. Now, whilst this is one of the best auto rifles inside Destiny 2, it's quite hard to obtain and requires a lot of grinding inside forges in the hope that one will drop. And even if one was to drop, you then got a hope to the RNG gods that it is a good roll. So hopefully RNG is on your side guys and all the best if you're chasing down this weapon. And the last and by no means least weapon we're looking at today is the Summoner. This is a legendary energy auto rifle once again, also adaptive frame, also 600 rounds per minute and has 42 rounds in the magazine. It has a high handling stat of 73 and a recoil direction of 57. The aim assist on this is 62, so again one of the highest across the category. Now if you don't have this weapon you can obtain it through Trials of Osiris. The requirements and rewards do vary each week but it will potentially be available either at 3, 5 or 7 or a flawless card. Now the weapon comes with a good mid-range sight already attached to it which is a great plus in my opinion. By default though this does have barrel options available but again you can still get a good barrel option and have a decent sight on this weapon as well. Now you do have the choice of ricochet rounds which as we've discussed previously across all the previous weapons is one of the top tier options available that boosts both of the key categories for auto rifles. Now in terms of other perks you are pretty much sport for choice. You've got moving target which we've discussed on the arc logic which is a top tier perk. You've got zen moment where causing damage improves the weapon stability again a top tier perk and also dynamic sway reduction so you have a fantastic choice and that is just the middle column. The one that I was using in the footage here had zen moment and that almost kicks in straight away and is a huge benefit on this weapon. Now this weapon has one perk that isn't available on any of the other weapons and that is celerity which is specific to the trials of his Cyrus category. That being said though that is a very situational perk and you'll still be looking for something like rampage if you're looking for damage boosting options but for me the top tier option for crucible is again rangefinder and as we know this improves its effective range and zoom magnification and on a weapon which has a fixed sight that is a huge benefit indeed. So there we have it that is some of the best 600 rpm auto rifles currently available in destiny 2. These can be farmed for random rolls and if you can get the right rolls on the right weapon you have a very consistent and lethal weapon in your hands. Now in terms of which one of these is the best 600 rpm inside destiny 2 I'll leave this screen cap on screen for you here and this shows the stats across all the categories for all the auto rifles that we covered in this video. Now as you can see the gnawing hunger has the highest stats across most of the categories that we talked about. However that being said it will still be down to the perks themselves on the weapons that determine how that gun feels to you and your personal playstyle. But let me know down in the comment section which one you prefer and the sort of roles that you're going after. Now if you have enjoyed the video be sure to leave a rating down below that super helps me out here on the channel and if you are new around here and want to keep up to date with all the latest Destiny 2 content then be sure to hit subscribe as well. I'm going to jump back into the game as always guys but I will catch you all again very soon.